Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing this um, easy, quick summer makeup look that's gonna be good for kind of dry skin or if you wanna have a little bit of a glow and you just want something that's gonna, you're gonna be able to throw on and go to like a wedding, outdoor wedding, graduation party, if you're gonna be sweating, it's gonna be easy in case any of it sweats off. You know, it's not gonna to be too over the top and unnatural. Just something nice to throw on for summer. So hopefully you enjoyed. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with um, a moisturizer with a sunblock in it. So this is Cetaphil and it has SPF of 15. Um, so this is gonna be great for just going out in the sun and having this under all my makeup. It actually works as a nice kind of primer for my makeup too. I have dry skin, so any kind of moisturizer is gonna help my makeup just kind of glide on. Okay, next I'm gonna mix up some foundation. So I'm gonna use um, a little bit of this L'Oreal True Match. This is in C3, just to match the spray tan I put on a little bit. Um, and I also am gonna add in a little bit of a lighter shade of the Infallible Pro Glow, just to kind of mix those two a little bit. And I'm gonna add a touch of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I think this is an opal, just for a little tiny bit of a glow. And I'm just gonna mix all that up on a little candle lid. I'm just kind of using that as a palette. Okay, so that it's looking pretty glowy, but that's how I like it. My skin is so dry. Um, it Any bit of moisture will help, and I really like that glowy, kind of shiny look. Um, might not like that, so you might want to skip out on the Skin Perfector, the Becca um, highlighter, but I really like the glow. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. This one is a tad light for me having um, a bit of self tan on and I don't like to kind of bring it down all the way and to make it a little bit of a better color I'm just adding a touch of kind of this darker shade and I'm gonna take it all the way into this inner corner a lot of people tend to have um, kind of like bluey tones in there I have blue veiny tones and then I'm also gonna bring it up just on the edge of my lid over here and then under the brow um, so I make sure to bring it in the inner corner and the outer corner, and I'm kind of just using this to place the product. I'm going to go back with the bigger brush to really blend it out. And pressing gently, but I'm just using pressure and sweeping away. So now what I'm going to do, I kind of want to just stick with using all the cream products for right now. So I'm going to go back in with this brush and just do my eyelid primer. So before I start powdering everything, I'm just going to make sure all my cream products are kind of done. Because it is kind of a glowy look, but I do want it to last because I am going to be going out in the heat and my apartment can get pretty hot, but um, I still want it to not be too drying for my skin or whatever. But I do want it to last, so I'm going to do all the cream products and then I will powder up minimally because I really don't powder too much either because I do have dry skin. Okay, that's done. So now we need to do a little bit of powder. In front of the eyes, I'm going to take the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I'm sure you've heard a lot about of it, uh, a lot about it. Um, it's a good powder. It's a nice lightweight powder that doesn't cake up under the eyes. And I could bring a little bit of that on the lid as well just to set that. Okay, once that's good and powdered, I'm gonna take a little bit of, this is just a Rimmel matte face powder, and it's definitely the wrong shade right now, so I'm just gonna take a little bit and then just put it right where I tend to get really shiny. I don't mind getting shiny, but just the spots where my foundation tends to start to break up a little bit around the nostril, right here between um, the eyebrows and a little bit. I like to always put a little bit of powder right here and right here because that helps to kind of make it last a little bit longer when I'm eating too. So I always tend to do that. 
And then kind of it, since I didn't set the rest of my face, I'll just go right in with my bronzer because your bronzer is still a powder, so that can kind of help to set the outer perimeter of my face. And I don't want to do too much because I'm kind of already a couple shades darker than I normally am. So I'm just going to use the NYX. This is the Smoothing Skin Face Bronzer, Face Powder. Um, I want to say this isn't sunny. So it's not like too intense of a bronzer, but I just want a little bit to give my face a little dimension without going crazy. I think that's the one thing to kind of remember. And you can do your makeup however you want, but if you're already going a couple shades darker than you normally do because I'm kind of matching tan, it's okay to go a little bit less heavy on your makeup just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural. I do want to add a touch of another bronzer, as I just said, to go a little bit more natural. But I've really, really been loving this Revolution um, bronzer in Vivid. Or it's in Ready to Go. Ready to Go. But it, it's one of those bronzers that you can kind of double as a blush. It's very intense, so use it sparingly. But it kind of just gives that kind of like sun glow. I don't know how much you can see that. I love putting it on like the bridge of my nose. And a little bit right on the forehead where like the sun would really touch. So even with this, I don't really need that much of a blush. And I don't think I'm going to do blush. Might do a little bit. Just kind of snack it out there. And it does have a tiny bit of a glow to it. I love this and I think it was only $6. So I would definitely try it. I am going to use a tiny bit. I'm going to go into um, this palette. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this orange shade. So if you have any kind of an orange blush, this is, uh, it doesn't say what it is. Oh, is there, a, it's OC. So I don't know what that is. Um, you could also get Makeup Geek. I don't know if they still sell this. This is Smitten. It's really similar. I just like the Urban Decay one because it has a tiny bit of a pink shimmer shift to it, but I'm just going to do like the tiniest bit just to kind of blend those two bronzers I put on together. So now we're just going to continue with the face. I'm going to take a little bit of this highlighter Wet n Wild. This is in Precious Petals. This is awesome. You, If you see this, you have to buy it. The only thing is it's kind of weird. It doesn't like go all the way, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to... Whoa, that was too much crap. Um, as I was about to say, I'm just going to put a little bit. Um, just add that on there. Put a little bit under there. Just put it everywhere. And I'm going to take a stiff brush. Blend that out. Okay. Cool. So, for the brows, let's just get those out of the way. Um, this is the NYX pencil in just black. I really like um, this little micro pencil. Just kind of fill in. Okay, so I just threw in a little brow gel. Um, I, for summer makeup, I really like to focus on the skin, um, having nice kind of glowy skin, pink cheeks, good eyebrows, and then I like to kind of do minimal eyeshadow, just because you know, you're out in the sun, you kind of want to look a little bit more put together, um, whether you're going to work or whatever, you want to look a little more put together, but not overdone. At least that's what I think, like if I'm going to the beach, or if I'm going to the pool, I might not even put on this much makeup, but, or if I'm going to a picnic, you know, it, it's kind of nice because if you go a little bit more natural, if something happens where it rains, or you're playing volleyball, or you're sweating it off, no one's going to really tell as much if you don't have super, super structured makeup, if it's more minimal and kind of natural. So, I don't know if that kind of helps. It's good for like outdoor weddings, graduation parties. You're not gonna look really overdone in the sun because you can't hide anything from the sun, girl. Like, it is gonna show everything. So, that's kind of my take on summer and going to work lately because work has just been so intense. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just keep it really simple and I'm gonna go back in with two of the products I already used for my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with this NYX um, bronzer. I'm gonna just take that in a fluffy brush and just take that in the crease. 
And you can go with a, a little bit deeper shade um, of a bronzer if you need to, if you're a darker skin tone, or a lighter shade if you're fair. This is a pretty good shade though for um, fair to medium skin tones. So it doesn't have to be too intense. If you need a tiny bit, because you need to be extra like I am, um, I'm going to take a little bit of, this is the, I think the chocolate, Two Face Chocolate Bronzer. It's just a little bit of a darker shade, so I'm just going to focus that right on the outer corner. And this is really forgiving because it's kind of already a natural shade, you have it already kind of going on your face with the bronzer, so you can't really go wrong. It's really fast for work or if you're running out the door. So then what I'm going to do is take a little bit, it's so a fluffy brush because we want to be natural and light, but it's a little bit smaller of a, of a fluffy brush, so it's going to be a little bit more focused, and I'm just going to go in with that highlighter because this is a gorgeous eyeshadow. And I'm just going to take it right on the center and put a couple layers of that. Now one trick, you could stop here, do a little bit of mascara and go. But one trick that I do like to kind of use for the summer that really makes your eyes pop is cleaning off my brush. Taking, this is a great eyeshadow. I didn't buy it for a long time and when I did, I'm like, now I understand. But this is, oh crap, what is this called? Nylon from MAC. So it, it's a really intense shadow. Like an inner corner highlight shadow. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on the inner corner. This is a great trick for weddings, if you're the bride, if you're um, going to a wedding, or if you really just want a nice, crisp, clean, bright look. This is a great trick. Just pop it right on the inner corner. Kind of like putting white in your waterline. This is a great trick. And this lasts all day. So you go to the bathroom and it's like, wow, my eyes look really bright and awake. And it's because I do this trick. I do it for work a lot. So that's it for the eyes. I'm not going to do anything underneath. Um, with summer and with me having dry skin, I have so much moisturizer on. I put even moisture on this morning before I put on that other moisturizer we added. Um, everything underneath my eyes tends to just kind of run during the day. So I just kind of, for the summer, stopped putting stuff under there, which is fine. I don't mind stuff running. I'd rather have moisturized skin and not be like uncomfortable having dry skin. So for mascara, I've really been enjoying um, this, which is by Essence slash Princess. It's the blue one. This does smudge on me. But like I just kind of said, I don't really mind. So I'm just going to pop some of that on. But I like this one a lot because it does kind of thicken and lengthen. And I like the brush. It's kind of like a thin, skinny Christmas tree brush. And I am doing a pretty thick coat of that. Um, again, I'm only going on the top top lashes because this will smudge, but I kind of like that. It gives you a little bit more of a doe-eyed look if you just do the top. Um, will last a little bit longer, won't smudge as much if you're prone to smudging. Um, if you want to go a little bit more natural, you could do a brown mascara. I just don't have one right now. Um, and then to finish up for the lips, I'm just going to take like a gloss something easy. I really like this Essence Gloss. This is, um, I don't know what shade this is. I think it's nude. Um, this is a great one. Buxom White Russian. If you want it, something kind of nude. Um, MAC. This is MAC. Um, don't know what color this is. But it's a, it's a nude color. Like any of these kind of nude easy colors are great. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're out playing with kids or cousins or whatever, you could just pop it right on. And then when it fades, no one's going to really notice. You're not going to have like a red lipstick that's faded all over the place. Alright, and that is going to complete the look. So hopefully that was kind of quick and easy. For me, this is like my minimal, everyday type of work makeup. Sometimes I don't even go as far as this. I'll leave out the eyeshadow or just do brows or just do a little bit of blush. But hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.